Okay, so we're going to do a uh, test, two tests on the ArcPack 730p and uh, there's been some problems with um, it not really working very well with a number of laptops that we've tested it with. Uh, we've tested it with two Macs and two Dell computers and it was glitching with all of those computers that we tested. Um, so we're going to use an oscilloscope and uh, look at the, the test whether it is a pure sine wave coming out of it. This is the 7 30p uh, model and we're going to look at the frequency as well to test whether it's um, uh, the right frequency. So you can see here that this is the 730p pure sine wave and uh, we're going to find out if it actually is a pure sine wave or not. Hi! <laughs> There you go. That's the top of the waveform. Here we have it, a pure sine wave coming out of the battery box. Yeah. Uh, there's a little bit of a distortion there, but the rest of it looks fine. across the zero point there is a little bit interesting. It looks fairly sinusoidal. No, that's definitely that's coming out of the box. So is the pure sine wave? Pretty close. <clears throat> yeah. Now yeah, let's crank it up and see. Uh, I'll just. I'm changing the time base, right, and trying to get this section here in more detail so as I change this yeah. it changes the time base mm -hmm. so you can see the waveform here mm -hmm. all right the bottom end and the top end um, and here's the zero crossing point so if I change the time base here then it you know the waveform now is doing this all right yeah yeah so then you can see you've got some of these other little little bits on it yeah just the 50 hertz is going like this, yeah, and this yeah. is high frequency. Mm -hmm. But it's quite small compared to, I mean, you can see it, you can see the. Yeah. Uh, so that shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. Should be all right. See, so there's a little bit of a bump there. Mm -hmm. uh, but you would think that the laptop transformer would be able to handle that. Shouldn't be a problem. Mm. Mm. Okay. Move it sideways. Two, two milliseconds. Mm -hmm. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For one waveform, so it's twenty milliseconds. Twenty milliseconds period, which is um, fifty hertz frequency. So that's fine as well. It looks okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, good news. Yeah, good news on that. So, yeah, it looks like it's okay. Uh, amplitude in for the... Um, yeah, it might be... The oscilloscope tested the voltage waveform and it was a pure sine wave. Uh, it did have a small glitch in it, but it was a pure sine wave. That shouldn't have been a problem. And it was at 50 hertz. So this should be okay to power a laptop in Australia um, uh, using, using the, the cables that come with it. Uh, so there must be some other sort of problem. So there you have it. This test using the oscilloscope showed that the, uh, the glitching computers must be for some other reason because this 
is is indeed a pure sine wave coming out of the the 730p. Uh, this one of this model, of course, is different to the the 730, um, but the uh, the glitch must be due to some other reason yet to be figured out.